Hi guys, this is Joshi, and again I'm here with you on with a brand new session. And uh, me and the team of Achieve IS uh, would like to welcome you on this channel. And uh, um, all those aspirants who are uh, getting this, this video and uh, coming on our uh, channel for the first time, I would like to say just please subscribe, click on subscribe or like button because the reason behind this is only you. If you will go through these, uh, I mean, uh, subscribe button, then you will definitely get the new and more attractive videos and let me know you one thing that uh, by these days me and uh, obviously the whole team of achieve is is preparing uh, specifically prelim centric video upsc 2020 prelim centric videos are being prepared here okay so for that i sh must say that you should follow um, this channel because by this you can get more and more videos even okay so uh, let's have a look towards our uh, to today's topic. This is elephant colony. What is elephant colony? Why we are taking this video and why we are taking this uh, particular topic? Let's go through it. Why it is in news? For the first time, Bandavgarh Reserve Forest located in Madhya Pradesh has a colony of elephants who migrated from Chhattisgarh in November 2018 and has stayed on. So here what is important a bunch of uh, sorry a colony of elephants uh, came to the MP from Chhattisgarh okay migrated they have been migrated from Chhattisgarh in November 2018 and has stayed here only in Bandavgarh reserve forest and why they are here they are here for the in search of food and water or we can say the new habitat or some new uh, we can say uh, they are here for some new atmosphere or something else B a possible reason is the uh, possible reason of migration or stay is the uh, plenty of food and water that is available in this reserve forest because this is the largest forest ever okay the large reserve forest is here so it is because uh, the uh, so that's why we can say that uh, elephant colony is here and uh, here there are some data related to elephants the number of elephants in the wild that this is 27312 and the data is a uh, one more data is here elephant reserve across india there are 29 elephant reserves across india and all these 29 uh, elephant reserves covers the area of 65000 square kilometers okay this is such a very big area of it okay uh, so the states that have the largest elephant population this is karnataka and uh, we can say uh, assam kerala and uh, orissa tamil nadu all these places are important for elephant population it means these places have the largest elephant population okay so let's go through the Bandavgarh Tiger Reserve. They all came to the Bandavgarh Reserve area. Uh, let me know you one thing. Bandavgarh Tiger Res uh, Reserve area is also known as Bandavgarh Tiger Reserve. This is the core zone of tigers. Okay. In 1968, it was notified as a national park. In 19 in 1993 it was declared as tiger reserve under the project tiger network at the neighboring panpatha century okay so historical significance of this place is its mention can be uh, found in the ancient books of the narad pancharatna and shiv puran these are the holy books of hinduism and here we can get all about um, this reserve also i mean in holy books if we are getting the specification or some mentioned area then def definitely these areas can be uh, popular or we can say have some specification because of their specialties okay so uh, we can see that historical significance is also being here of Bandavgarh Tiger Reserve and uh, we're here we, the sources from which we can get it these are the Narat Pancharatatra uh, sorry Pancharatra and uh, it is Shiv Purana okay so the Bandavgarh Fort is the great masterpiece of treta yuga one of the ages of mankind of hinduism you know very well that in hinduism the whole 
मैनकाइंड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फ्यू युगास दैट इज सत्युग कलयुग द्वापर युग त्रेता युग एंड ऑल वी आर लिविंग इन कलयुग हेयर सो हेयर इट इज ऑल अबाउट त्रेता युग इट मीन्स बांधवगढ़ फोर्ट वॉज द ग्रेट मास्टर पीस ऑफ त्रेता युग इट वॉज बिल्ड इन त्रेता युग इट इट इज द परसेप्शन वी डोंट नो एक्जैक्टली वॉट इट इज बट इट इज सेड ओके सो इट वॉज रूल्ड बाय द मेजर डिनेस्टीज इंक्लूडिंग सिंगार्स द कल्चरीज एंड भागेल्स ओके दैट दीज ऑल आर बिलीव टू रूल द रीजन्स फॉर द लॉन्गर पीरियड एंड फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड दे रूल देयर इन बांधवगढ़ फोर्ट ओके सो बांधवगढ़ एरिया सो हेयर बांधवगढ़ प्लेस इज ऑटोमेटिकली इम्पॉर्टेंट इन इट्स आस्पेक्ट ओके so it was all about uh, bandavga tiger reserve you can see the article related to elephant colony that has been migrated to the uh, mp bandavga tiger reserve because uh, from himachal pradesh okay i think you should go through this article and uh, you should read this article so that you can get everything uh, some other important crispy material in it also so uh, it is uh, i don't have uh, much we don't have much time to discuss this uh, co column because you have this column in front of you and you can pause this video and go through this aspect because all these aspects that has covered that is covered in this particular article is already being discussed and we are going to discuss in uh, next as uh, next slides also okay so you can go through it yourself so uh, let's have a look towards the next slide this this is geographical aspect we are talking about the geographical aspect of mandavgarh tiger reserve it resides on the extreme north eastern border of madhya pradesh and the northern edges of the satpura mountain ranges okay what is the climate of it tropical monsoon climatic zone here it is the climate zone is tropical monsoon and what are the streams of it the whole park is filled with more than 20 streams out of which some of the most important streams are jujela sorry johela janad charanganga damnar banbe ambarnala and andi yari andiyari jiria okay so sorry my hindi or these type of words are bit uh, you know complicated for me <laughs> so these streams then merge into the son river and uh, son river you know very well that it is an important southern tributary to the river ganga so these 20 streams more than 20 streams are the uh, main uh, whole park is filled with these streams and the most important these uh, major uh, streams that we have already discussed so hilas nath charan ganga and um, damnar bambei and ammanala and andhyari jiria these are the major streams and uh, these uh, streams then merge into the son river okay so let's take the uh, take through the go through the biodiversity of it there is a large number of tigers in the core zone okay that's why we said that i uh, several times i said that it is bandhavgarh tiger reserve okay so it it should be a question in your mind that if it is a tiger reserve then why we are talking about elephant colony so here it is that it is the core zone of tigers only here we can see 22 species of mammals and 250 species of birds also but this is a core zone of tigers here we can see so many tigers in it and uh, i can't uh, uh, recognize but yeah there is some data also that uh, definitely i will let you know in comment box so here the biodiversity has been seed, uh, seen in this particular area or bandar bandavgarh tiger reserve but this is the core zone of tigers only okay so species found in it is are uh, asiatic jackal bengal fox sloth bear striped hyena and uh, leopard and tiger wild pigs nilgai chinkara and gaur okay these all are the species specially found in this area okay so let's go through the important points of it elephant is a schedule 1 species as listed under the wildlife protection act 1972 where we can see the schedule of elephant this is in wildlife protection act 1972 schedule 1 okay 
so here it is the list of elephants and uh, species we, here we can see the uh, all about the elephant also while india is home to 50% of the asian elephant population and according to 2017 elephant census there are 27312 elephants in the country marking a decrease of nearly 3000 elephants from the 2012 census the tiger state of mp which is which in the 2019 census recorded the most number of estimated tigers at 526 presently has no how of dealing with elephants there are no elephants in mp and there is no known reason for this disappearance from india's central region including mp and until a few years ago chatisgarh a loss of habitat could have led to this problem also okay so but growing urbanization and deforestation is other elephants residing areas such as west bengal and jharkhand could now be pushing the elephants sorry animals westwards okay that is an mp also in october 2019 the union minister of environment forest and climate change constituted a technical committee to develop a national elephant action plan okay so although there is extensive forest cover relying of elephants on crops makes human elephant conflict inevitable so here it is a thing that you should remember that union minister of elephant uh, sorry environment forest and climate change constituted a technical committee okay in october 2019 so it is important so uh, union which ministry they can ask you the ministry they can ask you the time period and the name of committee that is uh, and why it is con constituted or why it is developed it is um, to develop a national elephant action plan okay so it was all about elephant colony or we can say the uh, bunch of or colony of elephants that has been shifted from chatisgarh to mp in um, october uh, november 2019 so and where it is shifted it is shifted in bandhavgarh tiger reserve this area is specifically known for tigers and there are so many species other than this also so hope this video help you a lot and by this video i personally can understand or say that this video can help you to gain more and more knowledge from internet or other resources also because by this video you can get so many questions in your mind and according to me these question can be solved according to some books and uh, according to if you are eager to learn if you are willing to learn then you can definitely go through all these videos and uh, all these uh, important issues and important points and these questions will definitely give you a more uh, you know crispy material you can go through google or something you can go through internet surf or it is the best option for today's life and uh, you can go through some books also that can help you to get more information about it so hope this video was helpful for you if it is then definitely please uh, click on like button and definitely subscribe this channel because i am telling you the, this thing because uh, from today or i can say from last few days we are working a lot on this uh, you know to prepare contents to prepare videos and especially for you because we want you to clear the upsc or some other exams for these competitive exams as competition is going on high and so according to the question papers and paper patterns question patterns we can say that questions are bit complicating according to the current topics so we are trying to complicate the questions according to paper pattern okay so we are working a lot on it you should go for it and definitely uh, subscribe this channel because you will get a lot about it okay so in next video definitely i will let you know that i am taking a new magic box for you so uh, let's wait and watch bye bye take care